the narrator has been traveling through uh, many different ages, many different places, and meeting and experiencing experiencing uh, the life of the peacocks there, right? So when he is um, coming back from Indraprastha, he decides that uh, now he has had now he is ready to write his Mornama or his chronicle of peacocks. But before he does that, before he starts writing his Mornama, he wants to go back to Rajasthan once more, to Jaipur once more, to see what has happened uh, to those peacocks who flew away during the atomic uh, explosion. Okay, so he wants to see what has happened to them so that he can write his Mornama. So um, he went, he returned to Rajasthan and um, what he found is that the peacocks had returned in large numbers. Okay, they had come back strangely, but unlike the earlier times, uh, the moment that they saw him, they were so terrified and scared that they started screaming and they um, flew away into the air. They rose from the hills and the trees and scattered into the sky. Okay, and uh, that is what he confused him. Right before this, when he has gone to Jaipur, the uh, the peacocks were welcoming him. They were not afraid of humans. Okay, so what has happened now? What is different? And at that moment, at that very moment, is uh, when the narrator realized that he is not alone. He realized that someone was walking beside him. Okay, so he turned and he looked to his left, and he was shocked by what he saw. He was so shocked that he had to turn his gaze away kanna maatanda vannu okay what is that ashwathama the great criminal of kurukshetra okay so now he has suddenly realized that someone is following him and who is this it is ashwathama the criminal of kurukshetra okay now i hope that you uh, read up about this all right about ashwatthama and about the battle of kurukshetra if you have not please go and do that immediately all right and um, he realized that ashwatthama is there beside him and then he starts thinking why is he here why is he walking beside me when did he attach himself uh, to the narrator and why okay perhaps he realizes that uh, uh, ashwatthama probably followed him on his way back from indraprastha when he was coming back from the uh, the land of the kauravas the palace of the kauravas maybe ashwatthama attached himself then okay and uh, when he was coming back on the way from indraprastha he had stopped at kurukshetra the site of the battle of kurukshetra perhaps he was still roaming there and when he saw uh, the narrator he attached himself to him but he realizes that when he went to kurukshetra it was desolate there was no no living soul there okay and where was this ashwatthama hiding then how did he, how has he been wandering there ever since all these ages since the battle of kurukshetra has happened okay has he been wandering there all these years uh, then he goes on to say that war transforms man utterly. Okay, now I want you to remember that particular sentence, war transforms man utterly. And he gives us the example of Ashwatthama. Now, who is Ashwatthama? Ashwatthama is the son of Dronacharya. Okay, who is Dronacharya? The great teacher, right? So, Dronacharya was a man of profound learning that all the great warriors of Pandavas and Kauravas, uh, they used to study under him and they used to bow down to him and touch his feet, all the great warriors of the world. Okay, But Ashwatthama, his son, had also inherited many of his father's qualities, but he didn't have his father's wisdom and Nana Parayana. Okay, He had many qualities of Dronacharya because he was also a student of Dronacharya but he did not have his father's wisdom. He was the most damn and most accursed man of that war in Nanaparena. Okay, he was the most damned person. Let's see why. It is said that Dronacharya, who was the guru of all the great warriors, he possessed the most dreaded of weapons. Etum shakti mai shakti orladum, etum dangerous aitoloru weapon. Dronacharya da kailundarno. Okay, and this weapon is called the Brahmastra. Any sacred games fans here, you must be listening to these words uh, from there also. Okay. So he had a Brahmastra. Okay. Astra means weapon. Brahma Astra. Okay. Um, in appearance, okay, if you look at this Brahmastra, it looks like a blade of grass. Uru pull, pull in the uru, uh, 
അതുപോലെ ഇരിക്കുകയുള്ളൂ ഓൾ റൈറ്റ് ഒരു ബ്ലേഡ് പോലെയാണ് ഇരിക്കുന്നത് ബട്ട് ഇറ്റ്സ് പവർ വാസ് സോ ഗ്രേറ്റ് ഓക്കെ ദാറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് കുഡ് റിഡ്യൂസ് എവ്രിഥിങ് ടു ആഷ് ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് ഇറ്റ് കുഡ് ഡിസ്ട്രോയ് ദി എൻറ്റയർ വേൾഡ് ഇറ്റ് ലുക്സ് ലൈക്ക് എ ബ്ലേഡ് ഓഫ് ഗ്രാസ് ബട്ട് ഇറ്റ്സ് പവർ ഇസ് സോ ഗ്രേറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ക്യാൻ ഡിസ്ട്രോയ് ദി എൻറ്റയർ വേൾഡ് എന്നാണ് പറയുന്നത് ഓക്കെ ആൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഹാപ്പൻസ് ഇൻ എൻ ഇൻസ്റ്റന്റ് ഓൾ റൈറ്റ് ദ്രോണാചാര്യ ഹാഡ് പാസ്ഡ് ഓൺ ദ സീക്രട്ട് ഓഫ് ദിസ് വെപ്പൺ ടു ഓൺലി ഹിസ് മോസ്റ്റ് ഫേവറേറ്റ് ആൻഡ് മോസ്റ്റ് ട്രസ്റ്റഡ് Uh, disciple or student and that is arjuna who was his favorite disciple okay he had given the secret only to arjuna but war is so awful that in kurukshetra the teacher and the disciple were on two different sides that means uh, arjuna and uh, uh, dronacharya were on two different sides arjuna was a pandava and dronacharya was with the kauravas right so um, war and avasthe adana that you know people uh, people who are very close together sometimes come to ha- happen to be on two different sides like uh, dronacharya and his favorite disciple arjuna all right and however both of them had taken a vow rendu verum or satyam cheyirunnu that they would never use the brahmastra okay no matter what happens because it would destroy the whole world before his death however dronacharya was killed during the battle of kurukshetra please go and look up who killed him and why all right so uh, dronacharya was killed during the bra- battle of kurukshetra and um, at the moment of his death he revealed the secret of brahmastra to his son ashwatthama okay ab marna samayath he is giving the secret of uh, brahmastra to ashwatthama but he warned him at the secret to kodtengilum he warned him never to use it you should never use it he said okay after dronacharya was killed however there was no one to control ashwatthama alle so during the last days of war ellam venda nu vechittu ashwatthama decides to use the brahmastra okay now here the narrator tells us that the last days of war adai the yuddhathinte avasana divasangalana etum dangerous okay because in the aa samayam avumbothekkum ellarkum endelum or decisive result venam maduthu kore naal ee yuddham kalikunu so endelum sambhavikkanam ennu orthu they do not care about anything at that point they do not care for human life they do not care for the consequences of uh, the actions that they do all right and that is why the last days of war are always the most fearful they are dangerous and unpredictable right so during those days men are tempted to use weapons that are u- usually only meant to threaten and that is weapons ok undu ee weapons ok sadharana nammal baatu baat ullavare threaten cheyanum pedipikkanum vendi mathram nammade kayil vekkunnana they are never meant to be used because they are very very dangerous okay just the fact that just the knowledge that you know the other side has this weapon is meant to scare the enemy side aa oru aa oru arivu mathram madhi ivarude kayil ithrem dangerous oru weapon undallo ennulla arivu mathram madhi that is meant to restrain uh, the other side all right but it doesn't matter right if you look at the second world war that happened and how how did the second world war end it was with the dropping of the atomic bomb in hiroshima and nagasaki that is what happened during the last days of war you okay? know they did not they did not care for the consequences okay so they did not care if hiroshima burns or they the only thing that they thought about is that at least the fighting will come to an end 